it is we we have we have stories this week and of uh, course uh, uh, the first one is a hurricane story so let's uh, <laughs> each week Catherine, radio dead air audience go out worldwide interwebs find all sorts of horrible stuff bring it back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you and like i said you're talking about how people in florida were not really in sync with the whole hurricane thing i think a lot of people did not anticipate how bad it would be i think they underestimated it yes well some people in florida made uh made their preparations they uh th- they did the smart thing they uh, they left they evacuated or they right. they sheltered in place and and other people decided they had a a unique way for uh contending with the hurricane which was um gunfire <laughs> are <laughs> Was it the old Wild West? If we shoot the storm enough, it'll scare away into the ocean? Florida Sheriff's Office, don't shoot at Hurricane Irma! I sent it to you over your, on your Twitter. Okay. DMs. Florida Sheriff's Office warns that guns are no match for the storm. Actually, I'm opening it now. Please don't, please tell me you're messing with me. That there wasn't a line of gun nuts. Telling to, oh. As Hurricane Irma continues to impact Florida, officials have dispatched some curious advice along tied more typical storm warnings. Please don't fire weapons at the storm. To clarify, do not shoot weapons at Irma. You won't make it turn around, turn around. and it will have very dangerous side effects. The warning comes after a Facebook event, Shoot at Hurricane Irma, circulated online and drew some 56,000 replies of interest. Pasco County is north of Tampa, along Florida's west coast. Ron Edwards, 22, told the BBC that, quote, a combination of stress and boredom prompted him to start the event. Edwards says he was surprised by the response. Dude, you live in Florida! (laughs) You made a Facebook post in Florida inviting people to bring guns. Of course they're going to show up, no questions asked. Oh, I mean, for fuck's just, sake. Just, they had to, like on that tweet from the Pasco Sheriff, they, they had, had to like, diagram. A diagram. <laughs> they had to diagram to show you that if you shoot, and look at this fucking thing. <laughs> they had to draw that. They literally had to make that just to show people they didn't have that made before. You know, that wasn't like just sitting around as like a precautionary thing. They had so... Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> there's like a guy with what looks like a sniper <laughs> in the corner. I know! <laughs> oh my gosh, first of all, for most people that like were gonna do that, that diagram's way too sophisticated. They wouldn't understand that in the first place, so I don't know why you were bothering. Oh, but and second, if you already have a gun and you haven't evacuated yet, why aren't you staying inside and protecting your family, not standing on the beach aiming out towards the sea? It's it's even the thing is, even if you start something as a joke <laughs> in Florida, right. people are gonna be like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. Why? This fucking Florida! That's not the not okay. You know this probably more than I do because you've covered stories from Florida longer than I've been living here. Mm-hmm. This is not the dumbest thing Florida has pro- proposed. No. no, it is not by far. Mm-hmm. However, this was a legit emergency. Mm-hmm. This wasn't just two guys, Pete and Bob, sitting in the barn thinking of something to do. Fifty six thousand people responded like, with, and I get it. Say only ten percent of them were serious. That's still. 5,000 people. I know. For 5,000, whatever. I can't math. Florida's doing things to my brain. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Oh. And that's Tampa, too. Tampa's, that's a city. That's not bumble scum nowhere, Florida. No, that's a big city. (sighs) If if you give Florida a bad idea, they're going to run with it, even if you were just joking. Someone is going to go, hey, why don't we do that? 
there's no evidence that anyone has actually shot at the storm or been injured doing so, but the original shooting page reportedly led to the creation of other similar groups, including one that suggested using flamethrowers to dispel the storm. Guys, if we use our Magic the Gathering powers, we can scare firestorms away with water. Oh. And he, it's it's one of those, it's like you can't even joke because they, they will no. take that shit seriously. It, 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 you, only takes this one, it only takes one person to take it serious, too, for there to be a disaster. One. You all have been to the party where you, you all get really drunk and you just start spouting out ridiculous ideas like, hey, why don't we go up to the roof and, like, throw bottles at cars when they come by? And everybody's going, yes. And one guy goes, yes! That's Florida. And he rushes away to find as many bottles as he can. That's fucking Florida. That party with 50 people, each one representing a state, you're right. And that guy's Florida. That guy's Florida. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm so, I'm so thankful that most cities and most people really took this serious and really did evacuate Tampa, Miami, yeah. things like that. Because there were still tragedies that happened in these cities. But this is how also people take this. Legitimate never before seen a massive like tragic yep. storm you know it's a good idea let's shoot at the fucker i bet i could trick a lot of people into doing this well speaking of bad ideas which that's pretty much the show let's move over to denver colorado we're going from drunk florida to high colorado okay yeah you, you ever you ever watch those crime procedurals where, where eventually the cops always have to go talk to the mortician? Yeah. You know? Oh, unfortunately, yeah. And it's all, it's all very, the, the, the mortician is always very detached and cynical. I was like, <laughs> yeah, he's died. He did this. It's always, but it's always very, very clinical. And, you know, you get a sense there's just, there's no shenanigans. Yeah. In the. It's robotic. Yeah. You have to treat it like it's a procedure. Just robotic. Yeah. <laughs> Well, was someone playing in a um, morgue? Five Denver nurses suspended after opening body bag to view man's genitals. <laughs> Five nurses at a Denver Health Medical Center were suspended for three weeks after inappropriately viewing a deceased patient's genitals. Discipline nurses apparently admired the size of the deceased par patient's genitals and opened a body bag to view the man's body. Did you get a selfie with the guy? Why as well when you're already there? Oh my god. <laughs> first, okay. First sentence. Suspended? Yeah, that not, not, not fired. Not out, fired? I mean, just... It, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a show. For, for one thing, who, who would, who would find anything erotic whatsoever about a corpse's junk? In a body bag, in a morgue. Yeah. Even if you're just going, look at the size of that thing. It's a corpse. Oh, look at the size. Oh, that's a shame. Isn't it, Sally? Rats. It's a corpse. What? What was the thought process of wanting to show your friends too? What else has gone on in that morgue that we don't know about? Because <laughs> you know that's not just that wasn't just the first incident. They didn't just go off the deep end that day. Hey Jane, round up the girls. We got another horse. Oh. oh, oh. Oh, the patient died on the table. We'll send him to send him down to the morgue because we're gonna send him up to heaven. Oh, oh god oh. damn! You just, it, you know, I understand. Dicks are not the most attractive or, or pleasant. They are very strange. Dicks are, <laughs> dicks are 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 in general a very strange organ. They 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 oh. are all always weird looking. It doesn't matter what kind you have, even if it's a really good one, it's weird looking. Let's let's even be in, honest. Even in the most innocent curiosity, why would you want to see it on a dead man? I mean, most of us have like this this part of us that it's it's like an internal stop sign when we're about. We have yeah. the thought. We have the thought. 
hey, wouldn't that be, wouldn't, let's, this would be neato, because, you know, and then this, the stop sign comes up and goes, no, we don't do that. Even if we want to, we don't do that because it's highly inappropriate. You are blowing past a stop sign. That's a ticket. That's a fucking ticket. A, t- what, a ticket? Yes. Let's go straight to jail. You, you, you've gone straight through the don't look at the dead guy's dick stop sign. That's a ticket. Oh, man. You just had someone on Reddit or Imgur try to make that stop sign graphic now in Photoshop. <laughs> oh, Don't look. Uh, I'm just reading on the bottom. Hospital said the employees involved were off the job for three weeks and have since returned. So, you- so those people in Denver uh, may want to keep an eye on some of your employees who are for lack of a better word, playing around with the patients. So Yeah, that's the Denver Health Medical Center. So whenever anyone goes to the Denver Health Medical Center, they're going to be trying to guess which nurse looked at the dead guy's dick. Multiple, and there's and there's several of them too. It's not just one lady, five nurses. Yeah, five. so it's like, it's like, hey, did you look at the dead guy's dick? That's, that's going to be the first question. All right, we need to take your temperature. Do you have your insurance information? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, did you look at the dead guy's dick, though? Second, did you wash your hands? Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I. <laughs> at what point, how did they get caught? That's Did it say on there how they actually got caught? No, I, you're will, you're, I'm willing to bet somebody tried to, put, to, to do a selfie. You're right. Somebody, somebody did a selfie with the dead guy's dick. I'm willing to bet. Yep. I don't like being right, Nat. Oh, no. On someone's cell phone in Colorado. There's a dead guy's dick. There's the most horrifying selfie, like vacation style, like. (laughs) With an Instagram filter and and like like a happy Labor Day written on the top text. Oh, oh, oh. Put a little hat and a smile on the dead guy's dick. (laughs) They do the sunglass filter on it. Yeah. Or like it's a second face. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah. Why? Five nurses. Not one of them had the insight or just the common, hey, wait a second. Even selfishness. I could get fired for this. Not even that. Well, our next one, we've got video. Oh, we got video. Um, I'm glad you didn't have video for that one. Yo, God, thank God. Yeah, that, oh. that would be. Uh. There is a point where you get into a situation and you have done fucked up that you, you just you stop digging. You, you stop. You don't go. You don't go forward. You stop. And then, then there's the, the then there's the person who 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 calls for a hit when they're showing nineteen, you know, and and that's <sighs> let's let's go to the video here. Woman slips cuffs, steals police car, takes it on a one hundred mile per hour chase, and we got video of the whole thing from different I'm perspectives. Loading, I'm loading it now. Yeah. Lufkin, Texas. New video shows an East Texas woman stealing a police SUV after escaping from handcuffs and then leading officers on a chase that reached nearly 100 miles per hour before she crashed. Police say 33-year-old Tasha Sponsler of Lufkin been detained Saturday afternoon for shoplifting. Okay? Shoplifting. Which means... (laughs) That's it. You are going to get out that afternoon that's a misdemeanor i mean you have a court appointment and that's it yeah you're paying your fine you're paying your bail you're out but no she was put in the back of the police vehicle she managed to get out of the cuffs squeeze through a partition crawl into the front seat and take off police department released footage from officers body cameras and uh cameras in the suv on tuesday Chase involved numerous law enforcement agencies, went on for about 20 miles before a state trooper managed to spin her out. Sponsor hit a tree and officers broke the driver's side window, taking her into custody. Officers said they could see Sponsor reaching for a shotgun that was mechanically locked throughout the chase. What was she trying to steal? She remained jailed on multiple charges. 
Uh, that's hard jail time. She's done. Yeah. All you, that. You went from a shoplifting charge to a fucking felony. Multiple, yeah. Multiple Grand felonies. Theft. Oh. Well, I don't get it. I mean, I watch like I'm watching the the body position and the movement. Like, she obviously has enough knowledge to try to get out of that situation out of desperation. How did she not think, wow, maybe I should just sit tight and I'll be okay? And I mean, she already made one bad decision and that... It's like, it's like when you're in GTA and you've stolen a car. Six stars. Yeah. You, you, you just, you, you're, you're like, you know what? Well, I've got one star already. Why not go for five? Yeah. Why not? You want to get that five stars. You want to see how many tanks and helicopters are coming after you before you get taken out. I mean, but unlike GTA, you don't just reload a save or you just don't pop out right outside of the police station. The minus five hundred dollars. Shoplifting. She's thirty three. She's thirty three. She's not a kid. No, this isn't. A, this is a grown ass adult who should fucking know better. <laughs> also. Police said, just that second to last line, you read it, reaching for a shotgun after she got spun out. That was the next step. Yeah. Like, I mean, say that thing wasn't locked. Yeah, you, 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 she went from, from like the bad decision to the worst decision to the oh shit decision. End of the line. Oh my gosh. Why? Well, okay. If you were the court appointed lawyer, what the heck would you say? What could you possibly say to make any of this better? And that's your job, too. Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know either. What could I possibly? I could even look the woman in the eye. Oh. Let alone be in the same room with her. I'd be afraid for my life. I mean, <laughs> this lady's still probably trying to Shawshank Redemption her way out of the holding cell. <sighs> trying to, like claw her way through the walls, bite, like, chisel at it with her teeth, whatever she I know, it's of. like, stop! Just fucking she's, stop! She's obviously desperate and cunning enough to do whatever it takes within arm's reach. Oh my gosh. Poor... Because you, you went from, you know, out at out of jail by Monday at the latest to never, oh, yeah. never, never, never. Yeah, uh, Monday at the latest, like, is she... Oh my gosh. I mean, that's like a couple hours. It would take longer to process her than it would actually take her to be in jail before they let her out, probably. Um, <laughs> what did she steal? What could have been so bad? I, it has to have been something crazy. Like, she didn't want anything to know about. That's just how my mind's working right now. Something she's super mortified about. It's a Bieber CD. Her... It was a Bieber CD. <laughs> yes. It's Bieber. <laughs> oh no, everyone's going to know. No, I, I, now I, I, I completely, I, I emphasize, yeah, man, I would do that too. I, I, I would not want to go to, if you're going to, if you're going to go to court on something, going go to, to, go to prison as a legend, not as someone who bought an outdated Bieber CD. Exactly. Used, there you or go. stole it. And you just drive to Mexico or die trying <sighs> or kill someone on the way trying. Oh, she would have got that shotgun. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And that's the other thing. If you hit a cop car, they yeah. can charge you with us. Even if the cop isn't hurt, they can charge you with assault on a police officer. Right. Well, I mean, that's like the chase was. There were multiple cars. So I'm going to bet the cars scraped each other. So that's it right there on dash cam. It has to be done. Not to mention, I don't know if that car she was in was totaled, but it might as well be. Spin out, hit to a tree, bashed windows. We've, got, and we've got more video and more car <laughs> antics. Uh, this, this one's from Ontario. What is going on this week? Ed? I don't know. Fires, hurricanes, this morgue play, some lady trying to MacGyver her way out of a cop car. It's from Carlton Place, uh, Ontario. Let's have a look here. Now, initially, you see this car driving along. Someone's taking video of it from behind. It's 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 driving along a little erratically, to begin uh -huh. with. Um. Now, it, it looks like, uh, to start off with, here's somebody just, they can't stay in their lane. I've seen that shit before. It's annoying, right? But as you watch the video and as it goes along, it gets a little more erratic. 
and we're slowly we're, we're we're getting a little bit a little bit further out of the lane and then oh them Duke boys went to Canada and caused a whole mess of trouble. <laughs> oh. oh. I mean, that's a miracle it didn't turn out worse than it did. Dashcam captures Ontario driver going airborne, taking out traffic light. 54-year-old man was recorded by another car's rear-view camera on McNeely Boulevard, drifting between lanes, ignoring basic traffic laws before veering off the road into a ditch. With his foot still on the, still acceler on the accelerator, he continued forward, going airborne off a sharp incline and taking out a traffic light. <laughs> I think the stunt was a, was a stunt driving operation gone wrong. It's more likely the result of trying to operate a vehicle while distracted. No, no. No, 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 no. I have been in the position where I've done the stupid thing. We all have. Something falls off the seat, and your first instinct is to go, oh, wait. And you huh? reach, and, and before it snaps to your head, whoa, wait, I'm fucking driving. Even at that point, you stop, you take your pedal off, foot off the accelerator. Okay. You don't hammer down on the accelerator. <laughs> you think you'd notice if the entire world goes sideways? What you'd stop going forward? You'd be like, I should stop. People are going. I want to replay again, again. No, oh, I knocked my headphones out of my ears. No. Oh my god. Again. No. How much height that guy had to have gotten? To get up to the traffic lights. Now, now here's 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 the part that just made my draw my jaw dropped. He was only charged with careless driving. Oh, Canada's the nicest country in the world. Oh my gosh. Okay, Dan, we got you. You were you were driving a little fast there, and uh, oh yeah, yeah, you, you, you kind of caught some air, but uh, we're gonna let you go out of warning this time. Okay, okay. Oh boy, I'll take you to Tim Hortons, but we have to have a talking about this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we we you might have to might have to to uh to to give you a good stern uh lecture, maybe <laughs> a more firm handshake than normal. <laughs> God damn, you pull that you pull that shit here, you're actually to be in jail forever. Oh my God, careless driving. Careless driving. Come on, man. <laughs> That's just going airborne off a sharp incline, but still on the accelerator. He continued for. Where was he going? Space. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get it to eighty-eight. If I can get it to eighty-eight, I know it'll happen. BRB going to the moon. Oh my gosh, those! I feel so bad for the other drivers on the road. Oh, you know. Their day was shot after that. Shot. All right. I see one. Uh, go ahead. All right. I, uh, we have our next Canada. story. Um, we have all done stupid shit while drunk. We have all done. And 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 before you before you go, I've never. Yes, you have, liar. You're a liar. We have all done stupid shit while drunk. I love the preemptively calling people liars. They are. I've never done anything stupid while drunk. You've either never been drunk or you are a liar. Okay, that's a better... That might be a slightly better, but still, I get what you're going for, so yeah, yes. Yeah. If you have been drunk, you have done something stupid. I, I, have, done, I have done many a stupid thing while drunk. But this time... This, this is... This... I have, I have done stupid things while drunk, but I have never... Stolen a penguin. Oh, no. I've never stolen British tourists fine for stealing a penguin in a drunken raid on sea on Australian SeaWorld. Two British tourists who woke the morning after the night before to find a penguin in their room have oh. been fined. Oh, these douchey pictures. Oh, I want to punch both of these guys right in the mouth. Oh, my gosh. 
The Welshman admitted to a court in Queensland Gold Coast they could not remember much about what happened the night before. They had been drinking heavily. And, uh... Oh, the poor little penguin. The court was told that the pair were on a working holiday in Australia and staying in a flat on the Gold Coast, drank 1.5 liters of vodka between them before deciding to have a look, close look at Australia's marine life. And they got video, of the, well, pictures of these guys, stills anyway. Here they are at the, at the, getting, stripping down and jumping into the tank at the SeaWorld. That first caption, on camera. The men filmed themselves diving into the enclosure and stealing Dirk. The Dirk the Penguin. And just above it, their lawyers said they deeply regretted their actions. Oh. Well, you know, that's that's one of those that's one of those things when you wake up and there's a penguin. There's a sad, confused penguin. That's like a record scratch moment. That's where you're like. My life you might be is wondering how I got in this position. My life has taken a very unusual turn here. I'm not quite sure how this happened. Okay, so it's talking about um the plan of attack or how they got in. Could, could you, could you uh, and also, please please and also the penguin is just. What the fuck is going on? The penguin has no has no has no say in it. The penguin is probably just very very confused and scared. Cause they, they they they're Welsh. They're singing weird songs. The penguin's from Australia. He doesn't know how to speak Welsh, so he's very confused. You, you breaking can't... into breaking into Sea World. They set off a fire extinguisher in the shark tank. First, that alone. How has Darwinism not taken these guys away yet? Natural selection should have weeded them out long ago. I know. You, but you can't, you can't speak Welsh to an Australian penguin. That's just rude. Was that the problem? That's the problem. Yes. Was that the was that the real crime? Well, yeah, because it's just inconsiderate. You know. Uh, how's a, how's a penguin supposed to learn Welsh when he's from Australia? He doesn't have books. The he, penguins quack differently for different accents in different nations. Yes. Yes, uh -oh. they do. Just, I uh -oh. mean, it, uh, and only 1.5 liters of vodka. How much? Uh, that's that? what I was going to say, too. Like, isn't that a considerable amount of vodka to be putting in your system, even between two people? Yeah. Uh, is that is that the level you have to get at where like let's take a penguin home with us is a good plan? No, no, no. We'll take the penguin home with us. Why? Cause it'd be cool. My friend owns SeaWorld. He'll let us in. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Cause we'll we'll take the. He's a penguin. But why a penguin? Because it'd be cool. Shut up, chicks. chicks. Love penguins. They love them. And then all night they're passed out. This penguin's just walking around the flat, just like, guys, y'all ain't got no fish. And you're, you're, that swimming pool in that little room is way too small. There's a penguin in your bathtub trying to get out, but he's too small. Leave, leave the penguins alone. Why, well, boy, is that a sentence I never thought I'd have to say? Leave the penguins alone? Just, uh, God damn it. Trip of a lifetime. The pair pose up with two female friends before their arrest. Oh. God damn it. All right, our last one is, I think this is officially the... I've never done a Tinder date or on online dating myself but I, i've I. Heard, i've heard horror stories tara has wonderful okay cupid horror stories but this honestly is amazing in just how wrong it went it it, it just there are wrong turns and then there are wrong three-point turns and then there are wrong like 20-point turn this is a wrong 20-point turn 
Woman gets caught in window trying to retrieve poop she threw out while on Tinder date. And this was written by uh, Brett Bodner for the New York Daily News. The very first line of this story, you were fired. Here's Talk the first. Talk about a crappy first date. Talk about a crappy first date. <laughs> you're fired, Brett. That is so literally anyone can get a job at Daily News. Anyone. If you're a college freshman, you can just drop out and work at Daily News, apparently. Anyone. Just take one English class and you're done. Okay. Okay. Before we get to the story, I'm a little upset. The last, I love coming on this show, Nash. Last, now the three times, I've had a poop story. Why am I being designated as the fill-in poop guy? You just show up on Poop Week. I don't know what I it is. I don't want to show up on Poop Week. I don't know what it is. You just keep showing up on Poop Week. I don't want to be known as the poop guy to the chat room. Liam Smith had a Tinder date he'll never forget after a woman threw her poop out of like his window like a monkey <laughs> like a monkey because she claimed the toilet wouldn't flush she then had to be rescued after she got stuck in the window trying to retrieve it smith told bbc the date was going well at first the two had dinner got back to his place for a drink and wine to watch a movie Things changed when she went to the bathroom and came back with a panicked look in her eye. It was into this twilight zone that my date had thrown her poo, Smith said. The woman, the window the woman had opened into a gap that was separated by another window, which is where the poop was stuck. Smith said he left the Did bathroom. Did still direct this? He left the bathroom to get a hammer to smash the window, but his date wisely decided to try to climb through and got trapped. Date had to be rescued. And here's here's the picture. This is just first she's stuck there. And then there's the fucking fire department. OK, fire. OK, look at her leg. Look at her leg. It's up to the ceiling. OK. <laughs> If you try to take a poop and flush the toilet and it doesn't work, we made something for that long ago. Before she was born. It's called a plunger. It is called a, I mean, my God, I would be embarrassed if I'm like, if I'm on a date, I'm like, look, I took crap and your toilet is I I destroyed it. I am very sorry. It happened. I apologize for my butt. There's would... so many ways you can clean that up, too. You could just say, hey, your toilet's not working. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just that's it. Then you're done. Not those would be all of my options I would take before. Right. Well, I'm going to grab my own shit. All right. Time to get the dance dirty. This oh. is my best option. I am going to grab my own feces and throw it out a window. This is the good plan. This, this is smart. He'll never know. Never know. Do it. The he dude is good. He has scented soap in his bathroom. I can just wash up. He won't notice. The dude, when you go outside and there's like a turd on top of somebody's Prius. Oh. He might get a little suspicious. All right, well, let's be honest. If it's a Prius, a turd probably a just destroy it. But just flattens the hood. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um. So she tried to throw it out, and it was stuck between, like, his window and another window. Yep. The uh, not his window. No. Option two. Could have said, hey, I saw something weird outside your window. Yeah, Even if you wanted to do the boneheaded move of throwing your own poo, you could have said that. And then trying to, this is just like a comedy of, uh, this, this, this is a, this is a the fucking dumb and dumber. This is goddamn dumb and dumber. With one person. You are living out the plot to dumb and dumber. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, okay, so you got in the situation, 
and you just stared at the toilet going, I have to do anything to make sure he doesn't know that women poo. Right? Uh, what's... Okay. So she reaches down, hucks it out the window. Also, okay, this is gross. Wouldn't that leave a bit of a mess on the windows? Yes. yes. It's not like it's not like you just threw a tennis ball and it falls down. No, it it's it it deconstructs itself because it is not a solid mass. Right. It's, it's mostly, poop. It's you, as you can tell, I'm trying to be as clean and uh, friendly as possible. So it's going to deteriorate down the windows, leaving a trail. Yeah, I mean... So, then you go to retrieve it, so you have it. Then what do you do with it? What's What was the game plan then? What, okay. okay, I have... Okay, I have it back. Now what? Here's the part of the story that just... The poop incident wasn't enough to turn Smith away from the date. He said he has since gone on a second date with a woman who's described her as, quote, a lovely girl. Does God himself have to come down and slap you in the face to give you a better warning sign? He's to stay away. He's a graduate student, too. That, okay. In what? There has to be a code of conduct for grad students at that university. I mean, there are red flags. And then... <laughs> There's a brown flag now. <laughs> And he, this, she's earned it. This is like neon, blinking, stop, Wh do not enter. Okay, when they have to bring the firefighters in, that's a, for the woman, just for the woman to not change her name and never want to be seen by the guy again so she doesn't have to live <sighs> that down. No shame, okay, no shame on that woman. Let's get that clear. She's not, she was embarrassed. I don't think anything's going to embarrass her ever again in life. It's it's just I would <laughs> not. I oh, oh yeah. have you ever been that desperate for a second date with a woman ever? That desperate? No. You can you can overlook that. I mean, there are bad ideas, and then because there, that, no, that's a series of complicated bad ideas with infinite bad outcomes and no good outcomes. That's, what would be, what's the best outcome in this situation in any of these steps? That's just like accepting that your life is going to be turned into a sitcom. Every time just basic shit happens, going to the dentist, shopping for groceries, and you're going to have this cavalcade of nonsense following you around. And it's not that much fun in real life, okay? No, no. And you don't get the laugh track, and everyone's not quirky and happy about it at the end of 30 minutes. It's like, hey, I need you to pick up my nephew from school. And then by the end of the day, there's a monkey in your apartment, and something's right. on a fire. Penguin in the bathtub. <laughs> it's a penguin. Oh. He has a fucking penguin in the bathtub. I mean, how, how the four firefighters in that picture, they should be saving someone else's life. Instead of helping you out of your poo retrieval. Because you know they a they ask questions and you're like, uh, uh, their response was like, she did what? She, it, she did what? Sir, I have to get this down for a report. You need to stop lying to me and tell me what really happened. Uh, I, I guess, mean, I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, bite the bullet and accept the embarrassment. Yeah. Do, do not. Do not. Especially when you have multiple chances. If the options are be embarrassed or grab your own poop, I will suffer a little embarrassment. For the love of God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The second day conversation. Hey, good to see you again. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> oh, oh. We've learned leave the penguins alone. They do not yeah. want to go on a bender with you. They are penguins. They want to swim and eat fish and not go to your house.
The pen penguin. The penguin does not want to hang out and play Xbox. The penguin is in the. the not everything's a crappy Seth MacFarlane comedy. No, it doesn't always turn out that way. We've <laughs> learned that if your car starts leaning to one direction, yes, apply the brake, not the accelerator. Take your foot off the gas, even if you didn't hit the brake. We've we've learned that if you are arrested for a misdemeanor. You don't need yeah. to upgrade. Yep. Stop. You're not, you're, not, you're not getting a PS4 achievement for that one. Yeah, it's it's no, you don't need it. No. We we've learned that <laughs> there are people who are go if if you are well endowed when you die you are going to become I guess a hospital okay. entertainment attraction. They get rid of the hospital clowning group from the ministry groups. It's like, oh, no, we got our own program here that's a lot cheaper than hiring clowns. Yeah, we just show people the dead guy's dick and everybody's really entertained. It's fascinating. In the morgue. We charge like three bucks. It's, it's, they, they come from miles around. Thanks for visiting Denver Health, whatever the hospital's name is. Finally, um, this week, we've learned that in Florida, if you start a bad idea as a joke, Someone's gonna do that shit. Multiple someones will hop on thinking it's great. This is... It, Florida is an entire state of do not encourage them. That's... Florida is an, Florida's an entire state of do not encourage them, and every one of them has a gun. 